Hey guys, Chris here, and today we're gonna to be checking out the Fisher Wheel of Time. What are you doing? This is my channel. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on guys, Chris here, and welcome back to another episode of Can Chris Solve. Now in today's video, we're gonna be trying to solve the Fisher Wheel of Time. I did a little bit of homework, I looked up uh, how I managed to solve the regular Wheel of Time on a previous Can Chris Solve video, uh, and I think I'm gonna employ the same tactics. I'm gonna try and solve the Fisher Cube as a three by three, and then use commutators to solve the rest of the centers. Uh, because this is basically just a three by three shape mod with five by five centers kind of thrown in the middle. So we're gonna kind of work our way through it and see if we come into any difficulties, but for the most part, I think it should be the same. Uh, just the pieces are going to look a little bit different. So, let's scramble this guy up and let's see if we can solve it. Okay, so let's give this a scramble. Uh, I'm going to start by just doing um, some regular 3x3 three three moves. There's not much we can do with these centers to begin with. Uh, so let's just, let's just scramble it as if it was a 3x3 three three, and then we'll get into the rest of the moves. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can start to turn these pieces with a bit more ease. Uh, it might be a little bit more difficult on these flat layers, but we can kind of work our way around that. Oh, okay, that's actually just quite difficult to do. Um, so I'm just going to do these moves and then scramble it a little bit more, and so on and so forth. So let's just get going. Okay, so I've tried my best to make it look as if none of these um, centerpieces are matching up. We have obviously this one here. I'm just going to try and scramble it up as good as possible. Um, but this is looking pretty great and wow for someone who wouldn't know what this puzzle is it looks pretty terrifying actually this is a bit of a mess so first things first I guess is our um, our cross so I'm going to start with the white face of course um, and what we need to remember here is to keep our centers uh, organized um, so what am I doing so I need to actually ignore the center pieces uh, surrounding the actual center for the time being uh, and then then we'll get to them later so I'm going to give you a flip so I'm popping in this edge uh, this white uh, orange and green edge which matches up with the very middle center like I said we need to ignore this guy for the time being and hopefully that won't throw us off we kind of have to solve around the centers which is going to be very confusing I hope I don't kind of get mixed up with that but we'll see what happens. So this next edge is matched up with the center, so we're gonna pop it down, just like a regular fish cube, and hopefully this will start to come together. We've got our next edge in there already solved for us, uh, and then one final flip should get this piece in for us. And then as you can see, we, we have our cross. It doesn't really look like it, but it's definitely in there. Uh, so next up is F2L. And the thing that's really throwing me off at the moment is just not being able to see which pieces I'm looking at because it's such a mess. So I know that I want to put this edge down, this corner, sorry, down here. So I'm going to set that up and then I need to find the corresponding edge, which is this tiny guy hidden all the way in here. That's like almost invisible. So. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, do a regular F2L algorithm to pair them up like so and then pop it in. And then what next? We'll do our green because that's kind of already there. As you can see, it's, it's hidden again. These are quite difficult to find. Um, match them up obviously and pop them in. This is, this is kind of basic stuff once you get your head around what you're looking at. Uh, we have our red and white corner and then the edge again is wedged right down in there. So. Uh, let's let's get it out and okay we need to match them up like so and then we can sledgehammer our pair in oh gosh this is there's so many moving parts I'm finding it difficult to, to actually do it and then finally we have our orange which is here matching up with this guy uh, so let's pair them up and then we can pop it in Okay, so that's technically F2 well done, and I'm just gonna check. And it looks pretty good so far. Um, we do have parity on the top. We have OLL parity. So what I'm gonna do is take out this edge. I'm gonna separate them. This is just an algorithm that I do. I just take out a random edge, flip it around, and that usually solves the problem, just like so. Um, so that's good. 
So now we have regular um, last layer. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it as quickly as possible and try and use the right algorithms. Uh, I'm actually okay at using the Fisher Cube, like using um, CFOP and uh, PLL, that kind of thing. Uh, so what's happening here? So it looks like we have a U perm now that we've so solved OLL. Uh, we can just do that algorithm really quickly. This is no problem for us. There we go. And <laughs> this looks really weird, but we actually have managed to solve our three by three part of the Fisher cube. Um, and because we did the U perm, we have obviously scrambled this one center, but it looks like it's okay because we can turn them independently. Um, so that's great. And now I think it might get a bit tricky. So basically now we want to solve our middle pieces with commutators. So I guess, how would I even explain this to somebody? <laughs> So basically we want to just pop in our pieces um, as if they they were centers on a 5x5. Five five. Um, so I'm going to start with the white ones, the white and yellows, just because I think they'll be the easiest. So what we do with a commutator is we pop it down, move it out of the way, move it down again. Then when we move it back, we move the slot up, move it back, move the slot up. I think I've just scrambled it up. Uh, did I? No, we're good. Okay, cool. No, no, I've definitely done something wrong here. Oh, crap. Okay, I am back, guys. I have managed to get back to where I was. I essentially had to just resolve the 3x3 three three aspect of it, and it set me back quite a bit. But we can, we can continue now. Uh, I don't actually know what happened there. I managed to scramble up. I must have just done my commutator wrong. But basically what I want to do is I want to get this white center down here and I do so quite easily. Um, and then I need to move the edge out of the way, I think. Okay, and now we move that layer down. And then when we turn it back, we can move our piece up. And then we turn our edge again and we can move it up. And that basically has popped in this uh, this piece for us. Uh, and this should be very easy for the, the white side. It's basically a repetition. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then just skip ahead so this doesn't get boring. Uh, so I'll, I'll come and see you guys again when I've managed to get uh, all of these in. Okay, there we go. And we've managed to do our white side, which is great. The only problem is because we have a flat center, it's really difficult to actually make the turns. Uh, but we managed to do that, which means we now need to move on to the yellow face. And I'm going to do the same thing again because uh, each piece kind of looks the same. Uh, it's not going to be a problem getting them in, I don't think. So I'll see you guys when I've done yellow as well. Bang, there we go. So we have our two kind of difficult centers done because uh, the rest of the pieces should be quite easy to move. The only thing I'm worried about now is how they're going to move because sometimes with commutators they don't go exactly where you want them to go. So we're going to try it anyway. I'm going to start by popping, uh, well I'll pop this blue one where it belongs which is down here. So just move it as it should move. like that, and I managed to get two in one just because they were paired up, uh, so that was fine. Uh, so next up, I'm going to do the next blue one along, so that's this guy all the way up here, so we're going to do a double move, although I'm kind of wondering if that's going to go where I want it to go, so I'll pop it down like that, turn it out of the way, if I can, <laughs> pop it down like that. Did that work? Okay, that worked. That worked absolutely fine. So we're good. We're good. Um, cool. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this center. I know this is probably going to be quite a boring video, actually, now that I think about it. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fast forward this bit. Although if I run into any problems, I will let you guys know. Okay, that's number one, and that's actually quite straightforward. Um, it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because if I put the commutator in the right place initially, it's not gonna kind of move out of place. So 
yeah that's a lot easier than i thought it was gonna be so this is gonna be quite a boring video for the rest of it so i might just fast forward me doing it uh just so you can see that i am doing it and then um you know i guess if we do manage to solve it then we will have solved it uh so i guess i'll see you guys in a second maybe i've actually just noticed something absolutely game changing. I don't have to use commutators for all of these. I can actually solve it like a normal 5x5. Five five. I've actually been completely wasting my time uh, because I can actually just, just move a piece down, move it out of the way. And as long as I restore the 3x3, three three, I don't actually have any problems. So, I, oh God, I've been wasting my time and all of your time because literally if I just pop this these two red pieces in, do a 180 and then restore it, I'm not messing anything else up. And it's just so much faster. I am so annoyed at myself right now. Oh dear. So this is actually very easy now that I think about it. Very, very easy. Um, I guess I'm going to solve it like 5x5 five five now. So what I'm going to do is uh, pair up these blues, move them down, make sure I don't mess up anything I've already done. And then um, what do I do now? Okay, so now that I've made this, this trio here, oops, I can just pop it in, give it a spin, move it back. Um, I can also build our, our three up here, which is great. Our three reds, um, move it out of the way, move it back. And then we've got a nice little thing going on here. Now, what do I wanna do? I wanna put this in the wrong way. Um, do it a spin and that should no, that didn't, why did I do that? Okay, that's silly. So basically, <laughs> okay, now it will work. Now when I push it back, it will solve it. There's two, we only have two left, and we'll probably have to use commutators now, uh, all things considered. I've been using commutators this whole time. How could I be so dumb? Okay, so we'll we'll make the best of it. We'll try and get these, these um, orientable pieces in, just because they will probably be the most difficult. Um, so let's sort them out. Okay, now what do we want to do? We want to sort out, okay, so I might actually just use commutators now, um, or should I? I don't know. Um, so this piece belongs here, so I'm going to put that one in. I can't believe how easy it was all along, and I just spent so long doing the... Technically, I wasn't doing the wrong thing, but I just was taking way longer than it needed to take. Uh, so now what? These two pieces can go in here. <sighs> okay, now I can see why we might have a problem. Uh, okay. So I don't want to lose these guys. I don't want to. I want to keep these as as good as possible. So, what do I want to do? Hey guys, it's Canker Solve, the biggest time waster in human history. What what just happened? What just happened? Excuse me. Why why did you do that? Would you care to explain that to me? Um. Okay. So. <laughs> I've been messing about for a little while, you know, just kind of dilly-dallying, trying to figure out what on earth is going on. And I don't know what is going on, honestly. <laughs> I've come so far, and I feel like I'm going to lose it right now, but I'm one, I'm two pieces away. <laughs> Please don't do this to me, Puzzle. Please don't. I know for a fact if I pop this down here, it's going to mess up this piece. Like, we can even do it just to show you guys what is going on here. Oh. 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 Can we do something about this? You see, I don't think we can even do anything about this because it will mess up another center. Like, it will just ruin another center for me. Because if I, um, what am I trying to do here? Unless, oh, hang on a second. Unless, 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 unless I put one of these pieces in because maybe it's the wrong orange. Just maybe it is the wrong orange. 
Is this going to mess everything up for me? Maybe. So now we have a good... Oh god, now we have another green to deal with. Oh... Oh... Yes! Okay, cool. We managed to solve it. It turns out it was a little bit of a parity error because all four of these corners uh, are kind of the same. So I guess I just had the wrong one in the wrong place. Um, so there you go. I've also literally just noticed that the sun has crept onto my desk. I've just removed it. I'm really sorry. I'm not quite sure how long that's been on there. Uh, I'm sorry if it has ruined the quality of the video. I just, I'm a bit stressed. I feel good that I managed to solve it, but I'm feeling a bit stressed. That was, that was more stressful than I think it needed to be. Uh, I solved this puzzle though, and I'm gonna end the video now. So I'm not mad at all that I spent the last half an hour of my life doing a puzzle that should probably have taken me about 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> this is gonna take so long to edit. <laughs> oh my god. So we did manage to solve the official Wheel of Time eventually. Uh, I imagine it was quite agonizing watching me do endless numbers of commutators when it really wasn't necessary. If I was to solve this again, I feel like it would probably take a lot less time. I also wouldn't mess up the 3x3 three three part doing something as simple as a commutator. But anyway, this video has gone on for way too long already as it is. So I'm going to end it off here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it anyway. And uh, if you have, remember, leave a like. If you have any suggestions for Can Chris Solve whatsoever, leave them in the comment section below. And then of course, remember to subscribe and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Have an awesome day.